Hello, smart people. So if you're an engineering student, uh, I want to appreciate you guys because whether you're a graduate from engineering or you're a TA student, you guys are very important to me. I want to salute you guys especially. It's not very easy to spend a lot of years in school doing engineering. So this is one of the stuff you guys usually do. So I want to like, in honor of you guys, how to put on your normal stuff for your PP or what do you call it? Ahead. So let's run this video immediately. So as an engineering student, we need to understand that when you want to analyze this, you can apply the Kirchhoff's law, obviously, but then we don't want to stress it. You can use the basic resistor principle. If you know the resistors connected in series and in parallel, that is to dissolve these things. And we're going to be redrawing the circuit. So if you're just joining us for the first time, or if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. If you're just joining us for the first time, you're seeing my videos, just make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that when I upload the video, receive notification. All right, let's get started right away. I want to introduce you guys to a few things, resistors, formula in series, and also in parallel. Uh, by the way, the, form, the question says, find the voltage required. We are looking for this voltage to supply the current of this. So this is this current that supplies, this is the amount of a very small current that supplies through the network we're having here. So essentially we're looking for the voltage. It's, it's okay, we're gonna get it, but we need to analyze these things. We need to break these things down. How do we break these things down? We need to know when currents or resistors are connected in series and in parallel. When you have something like this, when you have something like this, this is a typical example of resistors connected in series. And to get the equivalent or the total resistance of res the resistors connected in series, what you need to do is to apply the formula. Arrow total or arrow equivalent equal to arrow one plus arrow two. It's as simple as that. If you have more resistors connected in series, then that's how it goes. Arrow three plus arrow four plus arrow dot dot dot. In this case, you can just summarize plus dot 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 plus arrow n. All right. Then what about resistors connected in parallel? So in that case, if you use the same diagram, say we have another resistor like this. When we link it up with this one, then we can be able to form a little circuit here. Please, I'm just uh, dodging from this. Just bring it straight here. We have, we can have, okay, it's plus negative. Okay, you can see in this case, that these two resistors are in series, but they are in parallel with this particular resistor, say this is arrow three. So when you resolve this resistor, and then you have this resist uh, resistors, uh, the total resistor, you can use the value you have here to work against this one or work with this one, because this one is in series, but they are in parallel with this particular one. And to get resistors connected in parallel, say the whole of this one gives us arrow four, and then this one is arrow three. You can see that arrow four is in parallel to or with arrow three. So how do we get the formula? One over arrow total, this is for parallel resistors. Is equal to one over arrow, we are using arrow three and arrow four, plus one over arrow four. Is that okay? What I'm doing here is gonna be applicable to what we are about to get started with. So I'm just giving the introductory form of it. So how do we now get this arrow total? Because like this, we have not gotten the the arrow total to get the equivalent resistor, then we have to look for the LCM of this and this, which is arrow three times arrow four. So if arrow three goes into this, this will eliminate this, leaving us with arrow four. If that multiply by one is still arrow four plus arrow four goes into this arrow four, that will vanish, remaining this this times one will give us arrow three. So one over arrow total will be equal to this one you have here. Now Watch, if I have one over arrow total and I decide to, one over arrow total, and I decide to flip it, the inverse, take the inverse of this, or flip this one, take this up, one down, when I'm, whatever it is I'm doing to the left, I'll also do to the right side. So if I'm flipping this, I'm also gonna flip this, and flipping that will mean that this is going up, one is coming down, so I have arrow total over one, and if I'm flipping this one, it's something as arrow three, arrow four, all over, arrow four plus arrow three. Arrow total over one is still arrow total. So this is a formula to calculate, to calculate for 
resistors connected in parallel. Do you understand? Is that clear? So we're going to be applying sometimes when you say, when I say that uh, so so resistor is in parallel to this, you will see me do, let's say, if this one was to be 5 ohms and this one was to be, let's say, 2 ohms. And because 5 ohms is parallel to 2 ohms, you may not see me applying formula. You just see me doing something like this, 5 times 2 all over 5 plus 2. When you see it, it's just exactly what I'm doing, multiplying it and adding. And this will just give me 10 over 7, and I'll have my answer in decimal. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I will not be stressing using these formulas, but they will be here to guide you. Okay, let's go straight to this. Analyzing the circuit, notice that these two are in series. This resistor and this resistor, they are in series. So the total resistance connected in series, if you add that, it will be 3 plus 4 oil ohms, and that will give us 7 ohms. That is for the total. I've given you a formula. The formula is already here. Total resistor in series, you just to add, just the same way we added this one. All right. But the result we have is in parallel with the 7 ohm resistor. Have you noticed that? The result here is in parallel because this is never in series. This is in parallel, just the way I showed you parallel connection. All right. So since 7 ohm resistor is in parallel with this 7 ohm, the addition of this gave us 7 ohms. How do we now calculate for the parallel resistance of the resistor? It's going to be since 7 ohms resistor is in parallel with this other 7 ohms resistor. So it's going to be 7 times 7 over 7 plus 7. And what is 7 times 7? That will be 49. Although I have calculator with me, but let's fix the one we can. 7 plus 7, that will be 14. So what is 49 divided by 14? Let's do that right away. 49 divided by 14. The result is 3.5. So we have 3.5. That is for these two. So that means I will redraw this circuit diagram and I will have here to be 3.5. What about this? This 8 ohm resistor is in parallel with this 6 ohm resistor. They are never in series. They are not in series. 8 ohm resistor is in parallel with this. So for parallel connection, we just say 8 times 6 all over 8 plus 6. And what is 8 times 6? 8 times 6 is simply, let's use calculator to be very sure of over whatever it is we are doing, 48 all over, then 8 plus 6 should be 14, all right? So when, when you divide 14 by 48 by 14, you should be having 3 point, is it 4 or thereabout? Let's check that out. 3.4. Approximately the one place of decimal. All right. So now we've analyzed these two. Then let's redraw the circuit. We're going to draw the circuit maybe three times, and then we're done. So if we redraw the circuit, we'll be having, of course, here is a source voltage, and then we have here to be current. We have this 18 ohms resistor. And then this time, we still have the 15 ohms. We didn't touch it. The 15 ohms. Then we calculated everything and we had 3.5. So we have here to be 3.5. 3.5 ohms. And this one still remains uh, 27 ohms. Sorry for the sketch. I have to be fast about that. And then this one, we resolve this to have 3.4 ohms. All right. It's getting simpler, right? Now, if you watch holistically, you will notice that this 3.5 ohms resistor and 27 ohm resistor and 3.4 ohms resistor, they are connected in series. If I hold this terminal and this terminal and expand it, you see that they are in series. But they are parallel to this 15 ohm resistor. Because three of them are in series and they are in parallel with this one, I can even make it simpler by writing 15 ohms is in parallel to 
3.5 plus 27 plus 3.4 ohms resistor. Did you get that? Because three of them are in series, to get the serial connection, the total resistors, then the resistance of this resistor, I'm going to add these three together, which is what you're seeing. The result of it is in parallel with this particular one. It's in parallel with this particular one, 15 ohm resistor. Do you get that? So you can easily say that 15 ohms is in parallel to, let's add up this, and after which we apply the formula directly. So we're having 3.5 multiplied by 27, multiplied by 3.4, and the result gave us the result. Oh, I was adding, I was multiplying 3.5 plus 27 plus 3.4. So what do you have as a result? I'm having 33.9. If that was the same, if that's the same thing you're having, then you're correct. So how do we calculate for this parallel connection? Then it has to be 15 times 33.9 over 15 plus 33.9. All right, that's the formula for resistor connected in parallel. So 15 times 33.9, that will give us 5. 08.5 over if you add up 15 to 33.9 you should have 48.9 48.9 so let's divide 508.5 by 48.9 so what is the result you're having over here i'm having 10 Point three nine, I'll just say 10.4 ohms. So we have that to be 10.4 ohms. That is the whole stuff we have here. This one in series, in parallel with this, the whole of them gave us this result. So what are we supposed to do? We bring this here. So we have, we have to redraw the circuit. Maybe for the last time, we have this to be the voltage and have the current flowing through this 18 ohms resistor and then coming through this you know, the total we have for here uh, in that particular case was uh, 10.4 ohms and then we don't have any other stuff there so you can see that this 18 ohms resistor and this 10.4 ohm resistor are connected in series they are in series this current is flowing through the both of them remember what you're supposed to look for is the voltage but let's finish up with this total resistor. The total resistor here will be uh, 18 plus 10.4. And what would that give us? 18 plus, and that gives us 28, 28.4 in ohms. So we have the total here to be 28. That is for the resistor. We have the current. The current has been given to us as 0.37 ampere. And then the voltage is what we are looking for. To calculate for this voltage, we need to apply the Ohm's law. Because you need to think of what is the relationship between arrow I and V. It is Ohm's law. And the Ohm's law states that the current passing through a metallic conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference provided the temperature and every other physical quantities are kept const constant. So in that case, V is equal to I times R, which is the voltage drop. So what do we need to do? V now is equal to the current is given us 0.37. And if that multiplies by the resistor, which we have to be 28.4, then you have the voltage to be 0.37 multiplied by 28.4 that will give us 10.5 approximately and what is the unit for voltage that will be volts so this is the solution for this particular problem so this is the voltage that flows alongside with the current i hope you found this video helpful please hit the subscribe button like this video drop a nice comment if you found it helpful and make sure to follow us for more peace out